Hi everybody, I'm Jen with OpenSource.com and it's Friday. That means there's a brand new top five articles of the week for you from our best articles on the site for the past week. At number one this week we have Getting Started with Pearl on the Raspberry Pi. The author states, the open source software of the Raspberry Pi places no restrictions on us. We're all free to pick what we want to run to make it our own. In this article, we're talking about Pearl. At number four, Python Tricks for Artists, How to Add Interactivity to Any Python Script. Jason Van Gumpster, our resident open art columnist, gives us a step-by-step -step tutorial. At number three, Happy IDEs of March. Which code editor do you prefer? Do our readers prefer a full-fledged integrated development environment or a simple text editor? Find out how they voted in our poll. At number two, how to install Fedora 25 on your Raspberry Pi. This is a collection of tips, screenshots, and personal thoughts from the author Anderson Silva on the first officially supported version of Fedora on a Pi. And finally, at number one, the physical computing capabilities of the Raspberry Pi. While the Raspberry Pi is an excellent and affordable mini Linux computer, the author writes, with a stylus and functional desktop user interface, it has plenty of scope beyond that of a regular PC. Check out what it does offer in this article, and I hope that you check out the rest of our Pi series that we ran for 314 or Pi Day this week on the site. Thanks for joining us. I'll see you next time.